welcomes you. Now today we are looking at the practical number 11. So let us start concentrating about the practical number 11. Now practical number 11 says write a program to create and use the DLL. So there are two different projects we have to create. One where we are creating the class library and second where we are consuming the class library. तो एक तो जहां पे हम लोग क्लास लाइब्रेरी को क्रिएट करने वाले एंड एक जहां पे हम लोग क्लास लाइब्रेरी को कंज्यूम करने वाले डीएलएल स्टैंड्स फॉर डायनामिक लिंक लाइब्रेरी सो लेट अस स्टार्ट फोकसिंग ऑन हाउ वी कैन बिल्ड अ डीएलएल सो आई गो टू फाइल सेलेक्ट द ऑप्शन कॉल्ड अ न्यू एंड हियर आई एम ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट वन प्रोजेक्ट द फर्स्ट आई एम प्लानिंग टू क्रिएट द क्लास लाइब्रेरी प्रोजेक्ट for that reason, you can select C sharp over here. You can select any application. Just please see to it that over here you are selecting library. And please go on creating the library, class library over here. Then give a click on next. What is a class? A class is the collection of functionalities. And a library is the one which is the collection of various classes. Now those classes can be utilized by you. Or you can create some kind of ready-made functions into it. Those can be utilized by you for developing your project in a quicker way. So here I am planning to create my class library. So I had given a click on next. It asked me the name of the class library. Maybe I am giving the name of the class library as test lib. It has been saved by me uh, in D drive sem5 practical AWP 2018 slip program. I am planning to create a videos of all the practical slip which was been asked by university in uh, year 2018. So those videos will be also coming in this particular YouTube channel. So please subscribe the channel. Then I will click on next. Here it asks me which particular .NET uh, framework you are interested in using. I am okay with the .NET 2.0. Then I plan to go for creating it. So this is how I had planned to go for what? Creating my class library which says that there is a namespace called as test library under which there is a class named as what here class form. And here I would like to add on some kind of functionality. For example, uh, I may be creating this particular name of the class as mathematical functions. So given the name of the class as math functions. And here I created some one or two method public int add in the bracket index for my int y and further here I am returning the addition of the two numbers by saying return x plus y. I may be creating public int factorial index and here return a small program of factorial by specifying for int i equal to 1 till i less than equal to x i plus plus and I just mentioned f equal to f into i and written the value of f. So factorial is also been calculated and this way I will go on adding the functionality inside what my class library. I can create multiple classes also inside this library depending on my requirement. So I just save this program. So in the solution explorer you can see this is what my class library which is named as a test library which has one class named as what here class 1.cs. But you know that I had changed the name of this particular class as what we can say math function. So better way I will be changing the name of this file also as math function. So I rename the file by the name called as math function. Right. So math function dot cs consists of my source code. Then further I will be going to give a click on a test library. So when I am trying to execute you know that this library cannot be started directly because this is ultimately a class library. So what is need to be done by us? We need to build this particular library. So please go for giving a click on what we can see your build solution. So a class library is what been built successfully. Where was the location? I will try to find out where was the location. D drive, sem5 practicals in that AWP in that I am creating this particular test library is what my 2018 slip program and here the project has been created named as test library. You can just go to the test library. You will find over here bin. In the bin you will find over debug and in the debug you will find our DLL file called as test lib.dll. 
Now this DLL file need to be utilized and consumed either in your web project or inside your desktop application or maybe inside your console application. Now you decide where you would like to consume this particular class library functionalities. So what I'm doing, I'm planning to create a web project because we are comfortable inside what your web project. So I'm creating over here the new project, but I'm not selecting class library. I'm selecting ASP.NET web application, given a click on next. Finally, given a click on what here, create. An empty application has been created by me. And I would just like to go for utilizing this class library, but this class library need to be added inside your project first. For doing it, you give a right click over here, select the option add. In the add, you have to select the option that you have to add the references. So please give a click on the references. In the references, you can select which class library you would like to use it. Now currently it shows me that there is one class library, class library one, but we had created our mathematical class, test slip class library, right? So do one thing, you try to go for browsing the class library. So I had given a click on browse the class library. Here I had moved ahead to the D drive. I had gone towards uh, 2018 SEM 5 practical slips. And I had gone towards my test library. Under that I had gone to the test library. I had gone to the bin, debug, .NET standard and selected this library file. And then I had given a click on OK. So this library is been imported inside what we can see your project right so once this has been done i would like to utilize this inside my web form so i give a right click selected the option add and plan to add a web form and when a user gives a click on a button some message need to be displayed on the label so what i do i just added the label as well as i had added one button now on a button i would like to display some output on the label. So what we are doing, we need to import the namespaces. So I am planning to import the namespaces as yes, using what was our library name, test library, namespace name, test library, dot, there is no sub namespace. So I just use what, use the test library. If you have a child namespace, then you are going to write just like you had used the system. Na? It means what, you are utilizing the classes present inside the system namespace. And system namespaces have in a sub namespace called as collection. Collection namespaces have in a sub namespace called as generic. Similarly, the test library does not have the sub namespaces. We are not created only. So now I would like to utilize the functionalities on a button click. What was our class name? Our class name as math function. So math function m1 equal to new math functions. The object has been created. Then I had provided label one dot text. Oh, sorry. So label one dot text. I had provided m1 dot the function name add. Maybe I'm providing two numbers. And here I'm interested in displaying the value on the label one text as addition plus add. Now I just run this web form. Please check when the user gives a click on the add button what it is doing or a button, what it is doing, it is creating the object created by us inside a class library, right? So it creates the object of the class library. Then it calls the add function. And add function, it is supplying two values, 10 and 20. That addition will be returned and the output will be displayed on the label. So this is a very simple technique. So I give a click on a button, you get the addition as 44. So 10, 20, bulatana apne baba, what I had passed, 10 and 34. So the answer comes at what year? 44. So this is a simple way. Now you can add as many functions as you want in the class library. And you can consume that class library either inside your console project or inside your web project or inside your Windows application project. But for doing it, you have to go to solution, give a right click, then say add and select over here references. That's all about. Please subscribe the channel and stay tuned with us. We are coming with various uh, placement opportunities also for the student. So notifications will be coming related with the placements also. Thanks a lot class.